Hi, this is Arthur Hill, Senior Technical Analyst with StockCharts.com. Today, we're going to show you how the Market Summary page works. Here are the topics and the timeline for today. First, we'll show you where you can access the Market Summary page. Then we'll go over the different parts of the Market Summary page. We'll show you the different viewing options, intraday, ETF, or combined. We'll show you how easy it is to add and remove columns to customize the page. Then we'll show you how you can sort by one or more columns. And finally, we'll give an example of using the search box. Accessing the Market Summary There are a couple of ways to access the Market Summary page. I'm here on the Free Charts page, and you can see with that drop-down menu at the right, I have a link for Free Charts. And if you open up the browser, then you will get links up at the top for the main sections here at Stock Charts. And on the right side of this Free Charts page, you have the Summary Pages, and there is a link for the Market Summary page. You can also access the Market Summary by clicking on the Members link. And when you go to that page, you will see the Control Center. And if you scroll down on the Control Center, you will see a selection for Reports and Analysis Tools. And there you can click the Market Summary link. Parts of the Market Summary The Market Summary page was designed by John Murphy. And it is specially designed to give you a quick impression of the major market averages and common indexes during a typical trading day or end of day, depending on how you like it. It's really handy. I find myself checking it throughout the day. Now, it's laid out in a top-down format. So you can see you've got the major markets at the top. Then you have the major indexes. So you can see how large caps, small caps, the Dow transports are performing. Then we go down into the sectors and then into the industry groups. So here you have one glance and you can see all the industry groups and see which are leading and which are lagging. Then we have the international ETFs. We have U.S. bonds in the form of treasury yields. And we have U.S. commodities. And these are ETFs so you can track the intraday action. Finally, we have currencies and market breadth. And there are a couple of links at the bottom where you can click to get the end of day summary page and the McClellan Oscillator and Summation Index for the NYSE and NASDAQ. At the top and in the middle, you will see Market Summary 4, and there is a drop down menu for selecting the different viewing options. On the left hand side, you will see a column button, and you can click on that button to add or remove columns. Just below you have different icons and those are links for different charts for that particular line. Here it is the Dow Industrials and you can see the name is also linked so you can click on that for a sharp chart. Each of the column headings are displayed and you can click on these headings to sort by that particular heading. And on the far right we have the date and the time and a search box if you want to search the market summary. Now let's review the different viewing options. Chartists can use the drop-down menu at the top and in the middle to change the viewing option. You have intraday, end of day, ETF, or combined, which is of course ETFs and indexes combined. Now I'm not gonna show you all the details and the differences. I recommend you look at these different viewing options to see which one works best for you. For now, I'm just going to highlight some of the main differences between intraday, end of day, and ETF. The first two differences would be with bonds and commodities. Here on the intraday market summary, you can see we have a handful of treasury yields and we're using ETFs for commodities. And if you look at the end of day version of the market summary, you can see we're using treasury note and treasury bill prices because these are end of day prices so you're getting the actual treasury bond and if you look at the commodities we're using continuous futures and these are updated at the end of the day another area that has a significant difference would be in the market breadth indicators that are shown here on the intraday market summary we have tick trend the mcclellan oscillator and the volatility index if you go to the end of day 
market summary and scroll to the bottom, towards the bottom, you will see an array of market breadth indicators. And we also have the bullish percent indices for you to follow. Now, both the intraday and end of day market summary pages show you the international ETFs you see here on the left. The end of day market summary page adds the major world indexes. So if you want to follow the German DAX or the FTSE, they're going to be on that page. If you're just interested in ETFs, then you can simply select ETF here. And now I've got just ETFs for the major indexes, the sector SBDRs, the industry indexes are now ETFs, international ETFs, the bond ETFs, commodity ETFs, currency ETFs, and the VIX ETF. And this is great for getting a quick overview throughout the day and at the end of the day of how the market is performing. Adding and removing columns. Charters can easily add and remove columns by clicking the column button and there you will see all the columns that are currently selected. So if I don't need the closing price or the name, I can click those and they will be removed. So now I just have the symbol and the change. If you want to add those back, you just click them again to add them. Sorting by one or more columns. I'm here on the bullish percent indices and if I want to sort these, I will click the percentage change heading and I can reverse that sort by clicking it again. You notice I have all these zero values. If I want to do a second sort on top of this first sort, I'll hold down the shift key and click on the column heading for the second sort. So here I'll hold down the shift, click on close, and you can see now I've sorted within these zero values by the closing value. Using the search box. And finally, if you want to search for a particular word on the market summary, go into the search box at the top right. I'll search for gold and you can see that three things pop up. I have a U.S. industry index, I have a U.S. commodity, and I have a bullish percent index. And that concludes this instructional video on the market summary page. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to check out our other instructional videos.